Do you want to see how I turn this everyday look into this holiday look? Hi, my name is Jane and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, you may have come from Carla's channel, which is Real Chicks TV. She has invited me to do a collaboration video of a makeup holiday look. So I would like to show you how to take this everyday office at home look and turn it into a holiday party look. I'm trying to use the least amount possible of makeup, so this way it's something that can be easier for you if you've spent the day at work or you're a mom or a grandma that's been watching a child all day and you're very limited for time. So I just want to say right now I have on foundation, I have on cover up under my eyes because I have really bad circles, I have lipstick and lip gloss on of course. I have some eyeshadow on, eyeliner, a little mascara, and I pencil in my brows. So this is like my basic everyday go to work look. First I take a shimmery, not glitterly, glitterly glitter, glitter eyeshadow, a light grayish silvery color, and I'm going to take that and put it on my lid. Now don't be afraid if you're over age 40 to use a shimmery color. I know sometimes people say it sits in the crease, but you know, if it's just a slight amount of shimmer and it's a holiday party and it's at night, it's really totally fine. I wouldn't suggest you do it every day, but for a special occasion, it's fine. So I'm just going to put it on my lid lightly. Before I put my eyeshadow on during the day, I have a primer on, so these shadows usually adhere. Even eight hours later, it's amazing what primers can do. Now that's already taken it up a notch. Hopefully it's showing up in this camera. As you could tell, I don't do too many of these. I do makeup reviews, but the putting it on stuff, like I'm still trying to adjust the lighting and the camera settings so it comes out okay. So if it's a little darker, a little light, and you can't see it, I apologize beforehand. But Carla is great and I really wanted to do this video in collaboration with her. She's funny, she does all kinds of makeup reviews, she does clothing reviews, she tells interesting stories. My next color is a dark gray shimmery color and just kind of put it on the outer corner and about halfway up on the upper lid up above the crease like by the brow bell not all the way up see because unlike Carla I don't have hooded eyes I have very droopy um, big lidded eyes big lidded is that a phrase I don't know I can never find a video on how to apply eyeshadow for someone who has bigger lids there's usually for hooded eyes but not when you have more space and more of a palette but in my opinion what I usually do is I take the color put it on the end and just extend it out a little bit so giving the illusion that the eyes are like you have the silver color here and then the dark color gradually brings it up and gives it a little more of an almond shape if that makes sense and already it has made such a difference and it's probably not showing that much up on camera which you know, you have to think about these things when you go to holiday parties, especially nowadays where everything is a video and a picture, so you want it to show up. So what I do is I take a dark gray or blackish color. I have this Smashbox Full Exposure Kit. I love this. I've reviewed it. It's great. It has so many colors in it. And then I take the dark grayish color, and then I'll just lift this a little bit because I, you know, my eyes are droopy and I am over 50 and I'll kind of get in the corner and I go from out to in, like from up to down because I want more of it to deposit on the end. And as you see, it lifted my eye and it gave it a little bit of a dramatic look. And then I'll dip it again and I'll kind of extend it out I have to lift my old eye like to the lower brow bone, I guess it's called, and just extend it and kind of take the breast and circle it in a bit. 
just keep twirling it and twirling it. And you see, it's a lot more dramatic than without the dark gray blackish color. I'll just do the other eye real quick and come back. And in this full exposure kit, there's also a, a sparkly color. So I'm gonna take that with my finger and I'm just gonna put it right in the middle there on both sides. As you can see, it just gave it a little more pop and sparkle. Like I will be popping champagne at my holiday parties. What about you? What do you like to drink? I usually drink red wine, but sometimes at holiday parties I like to have champagne or sometimes a sparkling rosé is really nice. Okay. I digress. So now that I put the more dramatic eyeshadow on, I think it's important to put on a liquid liner because the gel liner that I had on for my day look, it kind of gets eaten up by the eyeshadow and you want something to really pop. So I have to use this little mirror <laughs> because I'm blind. It's like 15 times magnified. So I will go in there. I'll follow the line I pretty much have already, but I'm just going over any fallout. I don't know if you can see that. Then I will put another coat of mascara on from the one I had during the day. And I got this great mascara. I can't wait to review it. It's like a push up bra for my lashes. I've been having such a hard time. I have long lashes, but they're drooping. Even if I curl them, they'll go down. But with this mascara, this is great. And when I put it on, I kind of like twirl it because I don't want to curl my lashes again because I feel like when you have mascara on and you curl them again, it's really not good for them. And I'll just do it on both sides. Kind of get the corners a little bit. And then I like to put on a little more blush and I found this liquid blush that I like and it gives you just like a little bit of rosiness and it's not powdery obviously so it doesn't sit in lines. And I'll just put a little right here on the apples of my cheeks and I'll just rub it in. It's like a, you can also get a massage in for after a long day. And it just gave me a little more color, like not too much, but a little bit, just to take it up that notch. And then I will take a highlighter, because you know, you gotta have that bling during this time of year. So I'll just go over it. Got such a zit. I don't know, understand. 52 and I have a zit. I don't know what happened. I tried covering it, but I didn't do such a good job. I'll put a little on my nose, not too much. Some people put it above their lip. I try not to, as you can see, that's where all my wrinkles lie above my lip. So I want to stay away from that area. So that's like all I'll do. Maybe I'll take what's excess and just go like this so it goes on the brown bone just a little bit. And the final item. I will take a little more gloss because I feel that you shouldn't really wear a dark lipstick with this look, but you do want your lips to have that little bit of sparkle. So I put on my Buxom lip gloss. I reviewed this. I love it. The color is called Katie. It's like a pinky, peachy, shimmery color. It goes over on any lipstick great. I love it. So that is my holiday look. See all that. I don't feel like that's that many products. I mean, you could take, maybe you don't need the extra blush or you don't want to put on the gloss or mascara, whatever you want to do, but this is just an idea. I want to thank Carla for inviting me to do this holiday look. I don't consider myself a beauty guru. I just like to review products that I like. I'd also like to wish you a very, very happy holiday. Enjoy.